Hey everybody, it's me, Mac190. Alright, I am back for episode 4, I believe. Um, okay, so last episode, um, I got my thermal expansion thing going for ore processing, as you can see. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got some silver and lead ingots in here. These will come in handy for later, the, the lead ingots. And the silver ingots will be useful as well, but for other reasons. So let's go put these away. Oh, and uh, I got an ender pearl last night when I was off camera killing some, um, well, I killed eight endermen because I was going around and uh, looking for food and other goodness like uh, rubber trees, which I planted um, see, over there. So seeing as my trees are grown up, let's go and hack them away with my sickle. And since we're taking care of the rubber trees, why don't we make a tree tap so we can harvest the rubber we have. And see, with this texture pack, it looks like a big old blob. I kind of like that. It looks pretty cool. So, let's go back to the house. And today I was going to do some stuff around the house. I think I was going to make some pretty cool items. Uh, goodness, I don't have any axes on me. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can hear it, but in the background there's a tow there's a there's a truck of some sort doing some backing up. And it's beeping, you know, that little beep beep sound. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh -huh. Once again I forgot that I don't have tree capitator installed. I was expecting the tree to fall down. Alright, so we got our got some wood. Wood. We also may as well sleep the night, it's getting dark. Uh oh, 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 okay, never mind. I thought that was something else, something buggy or whatever. No, not there. All right. Actually, we need two pieces of wood. And there we go. We got a tree tap formation. See? Just put your wood like this, and you'll get a tree tap. Now, let's go over to our rubber trees quickly. Right click, and out pops some resin. Resin is multi purpose. That only does it allow you to make sticky pistons instead of using slime balls. It also works many wonders in um, Industrial Craft 2. Mostly it's for rubber, which rubber is very, very needed to make cables and, well, basically it's cables, I believe. I'll check when I get back to the house because I might not remember offhand. Crap. All right. Let's look at our NDI uses. Well, you can make a rubber sheet, which I believe is like a trampoline. Uh, I've not personally made those because I don't think they're worth it. Uh, so yeah, you can make gold insulated cables. Scuba helmet. <laughs> Scuba helmet, that's pretty cool. Uh, hazmat suit. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the hazmat suits. They are useful for like avoiding lava death and uh, poison death. Static charge pad. Oh, we must have the charging pads mod, which we can use to stand on, and then our armor, would, our armor and tools will charge up. And there's the medium voltage one. But yeah, let's look over here. See how you can you can make individual cables if you want. That's it, I believe. Oh, thermionic fabricator. That's for forestry, and that's about it. So let's take a snooze. And up we go. Alright, so now that I want to, now that we're up and it's daytime, let's take care of some other necessities. Well, not necessities, but uh, plans I want to take care of. That works. So I need two. Yeah, I need two. But I need to get some stone first. Alright. One, two, one, two, one, two, two. There we go. Stone gears. Uh, now I need one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Should be good. Now get some iron. Put that there. Put that there. And one, two, one, two, one, two. Oops. Here we have a hopper. Hoppers are a pretty nifty item. 
Um, I believe it's from Buildcraft, not uh, not Forestry. But, um, it's either Forestry or Buildcraft. I don't remember right now. However, we can put them on a machine like this. See, and right click, and we have a little interface. This is a great way to insert your items and use it as a buffer. These things do stack, so you know if you have your machine doing a lot of work, you can just stack them on top and put items in as they come. So that's pretty nifty, right? Okay, what do I want to do next? Um, why is there a zombie I keep hearing? Zombie! Where are you, zombie? But you think he's underground and I can't see him that way. Okay, then. Right, what should we do now? Let's see, whenever I start a world, I usually make some thermal expansion machines, and then I go for IC2 in order to make a diamond drill. Uh, let's see. Some dummy brains, some rubber traps, some saplings, and some bowls. I will take a minute to pause and think over what I want to do, and I will get back to you guys then. Alright, see you then. And welcome back. I actually got a good idea that I want to do, so I will do that now. <laughs> All right, first we need to, oops, I need about, I think seven stone. Pop that in there. And we should be fine for energy. I don't, actually, maybe not. Let's just pop open our hobbyist, oh. They need water. Um, where, am I? where is my bucket? I'll make a second bucket just in case. Just because I need, I want two buckets because it saves me half the trip. Click, click. And of course, buckets will be coming will come in handy later on for recipes. So you know, if I don't want a bucket, I can just use it for a recipe. Click, click, and that one should be full. Yes. And like I was telling you in a previous episode, you don't want your hobbyist steam engine to get so hot and then to refill them with water later on, because they will blow up, and it's not pleasant. Now I don't believe that you lose your items lose your machine rather because I think I had one of mine blow up before and it didn't really destroy then again it could have just been random chance so you know so while that's cooking up I need to get some glass uh, do I have any glass on me? I have some but not enough I'm gonna have to go digging there must be a zombie under my house because that's the only reason I can see why I would keep hearing a zombie so close to me all right, where did I go to for the beaches? Actually, what am I doing? I can just go over here, go to my house, pick up some cobblestone, and let's see, I want about four more. I can just stick in the pulverizer. And because I have an item in the furnace, it won't pop over, so... Or wait, will it? What is going on? Well, first the engines are the engines are still heating up, so there's that. But what's going on? Okay, there we go. There's a sand right there. Cool. So while that's cooking up. Um, what can I do for now? I wait for this. Get some redstone out. Get some more wood. Um, where my axe go? You know what? I'll just make an axe since I don't have a decapitator. Like with uh, Tricapitator, I didn't set it up so Red Power 2 items work, so I would always have to make, you know, vanilla axes. And so, as a mindset, I never actually made RP2 axes because they never worked. But, you know, ignoring that, let's go and chop down some trees because I needed some more wood. Did I bring any? Yeah, I did. So last night when I was digging around, I found I found a lot of good stuff, like a couple diamonds, I think. I don't know. I was kind of don't remember much of what last night. I got some um, Thalmacraft two shards, which I'll get to those later on. This is a pretty cool, pretty fun digging experience. <laughs> oh yeah, here's my little house I had. 
I wonder what that is. Oh, it's uh, Quicksilver. Okay. No big deal. Get up. Alright. Let's go check on... Oh, crap. I just realized something. Please don't do what I think you're going to do. No? What's going on? Where'd my sand go? Hello? Did it, did it make? I could have sworn it, or did I take the cobblestone out? I think I did, I don't know. I am loopy. So, I, okay, we just need three more pieces of glass. That works. So what I'm making right now is gonna actually help us with some digging up of the earth. And you know, mining. Sorry for the spasmic, spasm, spas, spas. Okay. Sorry, I keep opening the the uh, UIs and stuff like that. I just that's what I do a lot when I'm alone playing this game. All right, so let's make ourselves our first item. Put, I think it goes there. That goes there. No. There we go. We have a computer. Computers are from, you guessed it, computer craft. <laughs> okay. Uh, these things are very lovely because if you combine them with um, a certain item, then they will become what they call a turtle. No, it's not an animal turtle. It's just a little fancy name for this little computer guy. Oh, hiccups. Oh, man. Jeez. Okay, so here we go. We got we got a turtle right here. Now alone, a turtle just oops. A turtle just looks like this. There's nothing on it, you know, on the sides. What we can do actually is take three diamonds. Now I'm gonna use three diamonds for this because I have enough diamonds right now, and it's always good to have a diamond pickaxe, a diamond turtle. So. Combine the diamond pickaxe and the turtle, and we get a mining turtle. Now, the great thing about these turtles is that you can use sapphire pickaxes, you can use emerald and rubies. Basically, I think it only is limited to diamond tools and uh, red power tools. So, I'm not sure if it does iron or not, but uh, regardless, um, we have our turtle now so let's go and try to find some lava oh wait right there hee <laughs> hee silly me all right so now we got our buckets let's fill them up type a command to refill it there we go 2000 fuel now I'll I will cut out when I get to the level I will cut out right now and come back when I have enough fuel inside all right see you guys then and welcome back all right, so I got my turtle in my hand. Oh, wait a minute. Did I did I screw up? Poopy, I did. That's a lesson for you guys out there. Um, I'll tell you. I forgot to set the label for this turtle. And because I did that, it did not save the amount of fuel I have in there. So um, I'm going to run back to my house first, take a little nap, and then go and refill the turtle all over again. Jeez. What a derpy me. That works. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, um, um. So, yeah, what you saw there was there were some blue, like, boxes kind of in the pipe. That is like a buildcraft engine buildup, and that's not good because that means that the pipe is about to explode if it can't send the energy anywhere. It didn't used to always do that, like that, but one of the recent changes to buildcraft made it so um, if there was too much energy building up like that, then it'll explode. So, first up, let's set. Oops, I heard press the alt by accident. Label. 
Mike Digger. No. Label. Set. Digger. There we go. So, a uh, little command, label, and then set, and then the name of the program you want to, the name of the turtle you want to name it. Uh, kind of confusing, I know, but it's just, uh, that, that's the, uh, let's see, label help. So here we go right here. Label get, which returns the label, the turtle's label. Label set, label clear, label get. Uh, I'm not sure what drive does. And this, and this, and the, yeah. I think that's something about like a uh, attachment to the computer. Don't ask me. I'm, I'm not the I'm not the most advanced at computers. Uh, there are plenty of people out there that are a lot smarter than I am at the turtles. Uh, there's actually one particular guy that I know that made a really awesome uh, mining program, and I might be using that later on. Uh, I'm not sure. It just depends. If I um, go and get the paste bin, which is, reminds me of another thing, turtles uh, have a handy little API in them that allow you to um, communicate with pastebin.com or .org or whatever domain it is. Uh, pastebin is a website where people can post code and people can look at it and tell you if it's broken or you know what have you. But computer craft was awesome enough to make it so you can incorporate paste bins right into your turtle. Just use a simple script called pastebin git. Uh, the name of the link of the pastebin and then the name, and it will save it to your turtle, and you're done. Now I'll show you guys how to do it later on, but for now I'm just gonna get this turtle. I'm gonna go to a spot and then I'll show you. I think here's good. Um, goody crap crap. Um, I can't. Uh, I forgot to make a chest, which sucks. But what I'll do, I'm gonna just put this here, and then I'll put like I'll put this pastebin dot get, and let me just look up a script that I have. Won't take long. I just gotta scroll down through my bookmarks. Uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah, found it. Alright. So, each pastebin link has a little a URL code, like pastebin.com slash, you know, some letters and numbers. This one is 6QMBBLPZ. This is the awesome little quarry code that a cool guy was able to code. And let's call it, um,. Epic mining. No, it's too long. Let's call it epic. So now it says it, connecting to pastebin.com success downloaded as epic. So if we type in list, we'll see the the programs in this turtle. ROM, I'm not sure what that does. It's probably just a default computer program. But here we go. Epic. We can edit epic if you want and look at all this code. Okay, so apparently it's, it's it was created by a guy named Prince Tommen. I originally thought it was done by a guy named Cyanide Epic, but apparently it's not his computer turtle. Somebody else's. Alright, so enough rambling. I will be back in a second when I go and get something from the house, which actually I will end up showing you on camera as I then come downstairs again. Alright, see you then. Air back. Alright, so what my plan is, first I need to make a little chest. A simple wooden chest like this. Put that there. Now, I think I told you guys in a previous episode, maybe not, that you can make upgraded chests by surrounding your chest with a certain material. See, with a normal chest and iron, you get iron chest. And if you put that in the middle again and put gold around it, you get a gold chest. Now, I have enough gold as it is right now, so I'm not worried about using gold. But uh, let's look at the chest items so let's see you can even make upgrades to your chest that you can just right click and the chest will upgrade pretty cool right you got iron to gold gold to diamond copper to silver and I think copper is like a, is like less than less than a double chest I think iron is a double chest as far as silver I'm not sure it's, I'm not sure how big silver is 
what we got is silver to gold, copper to iron, diamond to crystal, uh, normal to iron, normal to copper, and diamond to obsidian. Now it's two chests that I want to talk about. Uh, the crystal chest is made mo mostly for looks. It's you know it doesn't hold any more items. It just holds the same as diamond chest. And the same goes for the obsidian chest in that it holds the same amount as diamond chests do. However, they are di uh, creeper resistant. So if a creeper comes in your house and blows your your you know your face up, your obsidian chest will still be there. However, if any other chests were nearby and they weren't obsidian. Well, they wouldn't be so lucky. It's a pretty cool feature, I gotta say. But uh, I think it won't be needed too much in the future. By the time we have, you know, obsidian chests, which basically cost diamonds, I think we'll be safe enough to not worry about creepers coming in our house. But who knows? There's always a lighting issues that I have. Alright, so. I'm actually going to do just the default mining program, which comes in every version, well, all versions of computer craft um, above a certain point. <laughs> okay, so the program is called Excavate, and you just type in Excavate, and you give it a single number, like 5 or 10 or 11. That number tells the computer to dig a, uh, an N, a, a, a hole in the ground, let's say, 10 by 10 all the way down to bedrock until it can't dig anymore and then it will come back up and drop off its items the cool thing is like I said this turtle will drop off its items when the inventory in the turtle gets too full or if the I think it comes back as well if the fuel rate is low I'm not sure about that but um, usually I keep it at a pretty high level of fuel so it, doesn't, it won't stop in the middle of the um, excavation so let's go with a 11 squared quarry which is my favorite number number <laughs> for doing quarries so hit enter and now it's excavating see, see uh, so it's going over to the um, far end of the wall and I want to get over to the quarry I mean to the turtle dang it All right inside the turtle you can see uh, 12 spots that's its inventory it's not big but then again it's more balanced if it's small so it's gonna keep doing this um, it won't dig however if I'm not near it you know the whole minecraft has chunks that load and unload if you're not near them however with some pretty nifty mods there are some items that will allow you to load the place such as chunk loader this is from a mod called chicken chunks which is made by the guy who did the glorious um, not enough items a mod which shows you all the recipes and items this is basically any eye with, with this button the interface we're seeing right now is basically from chicken bones with any eye so <laughs> geez I can't words back to the uh, chunk loader though we're gonna need to make a enchant table which requires four obsidian two diamonds and a book not too bad but we're gonna need to go obsidian mining which we need the, di the diamond pickaxe for and then we're gonna need some five gold and an ender pearl now we could make this right now but I don't have the obsidian for it uh, ooh, is that gold? that's gold so I might what I might do off camera is go and dig up some obsidian and then either wait for the next episode to chunk load or make the chunk loader anyways and then show you when I get, when I get back in the next episode so I think that's enough gold or that it has spawned. Is there any more? I don't think so. Huh. Alright, well. Let's go. Well, first, I actually, what I want to do is uh, light up this area. So I'll put a torch here. It's always good to light up your area. Ooh, what's this? Is that... Oh, okay, it's just uh, Red Power 2 stuff. I thought it was something else. Oh, so much gravel already. There we go. Typically, when um, you're not playing on Peaceful, your quarry holes will have a lot of monsters at the very bottom, or whatever level that is lowest. Yeah. So, I'm just saving time and 
torch up the place. Alright, so I think that's it for now. Maybe get some iron real quick. Excuse me. You know what? Let's actually head back to the house. And what I might do, though, is show you guys something cool with forestry. So I'll cut there and see you then. Okay. Before we wrap up, um, I just want to show you guys what I was going to show you earlier. Um, so first we need two chests in the middle. Put down some wool. Um, some stone. And surround it with four string. And we have a digger's backpack. Now, this digger's backpack will accept any cobblestone, sand, dirt, or gravel inside of it. And we can carry it around and save 15 slots of space, right? Pretty cool. What I'm doing now is I'm making the other item. Do I have the gold? Did I put away the iron? Okay. Oh, wait. Apparently I already had some iron, but anyway. Uh, put iron there. Chest in the middle. Um, what was I going to do? What was it? Ah, wool and string. And there we go. We have a miner's backpack. The miner's backpack is for anything ore related. So if I run into iron or coal or diamonds, it will suck it up and it will store it in my bag. Uh, one more feature. These things, if you shift and right click, it will um, rotate through all its features. With this texture pack, right now it's locked so it won't take in any items. But if it's on this, it's receiving. So you can, let's say, right click a chest, or shift right click a chest, and it will suck up all the ore items. Now if you want to put them back in, you shift right click again, and you put it into resupply mode. And you can right click, and it will now be empty. Um, there might be a, there might be something, there might be something um, that's causing it to do that. Uh, you know what? I can't I can't think so I'll just I'll just be quiet now but uh, it is night time so let's oh crap we can't sleep so why aren't the monsters oh crap oh crap how huh, you see that did he just shoot himself with the arrow so I could have sworn oh crap creeper kill him Ow! Oh crap. Okay. 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 Get in the house. Get in the house. I need to live. Oh, jeez. That was scary. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna drop my things off here. Get that. Oh, before I go... Hmm. Do I have time? Um. Here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna do one more thing, and it involves s uh, item storage. Uh, pickaxe, pick, I mean axe, there we go, axe. Quickly, quickly go over here. Look for a tree. Oh, I see a armored zombie over there. And I don't have any um, blocks to step on in order to get up there. Don't worry, guys. If, <laughs> if this is really bothering you, the whole tree is being not chopped down, I will take care of it. Okay, so he only has butter armor on. Uh, we have 13 woods. So that's good enough. Let's get back home. And then we'll call this an episode. Alright, so now we're inside. We need to make some wood and make wood slabs. Put one up there. And we can't make two, so let's just make one. Right here we have a barrel. This is from a mod called Factorization. Uh, factorization brings in a lot of cool items um, like barrels and 
There are things called routers, which allow you to move items into inventories in a very awesome way. And because we don't have logistics pipes, we may be using routers to store items around. I've seen a lot of people use routers, and they're really cool. But uh, we'll get to that later. Now, as for this barrel, you see a little blank square on the front. That means there are no items inside. So what we can do is take out, say, cobblestone, and then right-click. Now, if you right-click, if you right-click twice with the item in hand, it will insert all of the items inside it. So now we have seven stacks of 64 inside our barrel. Uh, let's just take care of these really quick, and then we'll wrap up. Um, I'm gonna go and take a look at the mining turtle and see what happened to it. If it's still mining or if it's unloaded. And if it's unloaded, I'll have to restart it. But yeah, for now, uh, I will see you guys next time in episode 5. Peace!